Sometimes your binary will not have symbols. It's a so-called strip binary. Let me show what you can do then. Sometimes you find yourself with a binary that says it's strip. Your problem is when you try to debug this and you want to set a breakpoint main, no symbol table is loaded. So I have downloaded a disassembler called Ghidra and I've linked it in the description of this video. This will not work, uh, we still need Java 11. While this is still installing, let's go back to GDB and I'll show you another method first. With the info files, you can get a couple of informations about this file. And so, first of all, you see here a lot of the sections that this file has. So for example, you can find the text section, which is the code, or you can find the data section, where there's kind of static data. There's maybe other stuff that you recognize, like the procedure linkage table and the global offset table and so forth. But it also shows you here an entry point, which coincidentally is right at the start of the text section too. So let's disassemble the code there. Okay, so there's no function at this address. So let's look at this with the examine command. So I'm examining 20 instructions at this address. And then we can see here just code, 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 code. And then we see here a call coming up, as well as certain parameters being prepared for it. Uh, and in Ghidra, it's basically the same thing. Okay, I tried to zoom in a little bit, so obviously it's now very, very crowded. So in the symbol tree, you can find a symbol that Ghidra called entry. The entry function here also starts at 4F0, at least the offset. Ghidra puts it actually at 1004F0, but that's just convention. That's just where Ghidra kind of like assumes where in memory it could be. But you see the offset is the same. And so let's look at this code here. Uh, you can also see here eventually this call. And Ghidra already recognized this as libc start main. Ghidra recognized this because even though the binary itself um, is stripped, doesn't have symbols, it still uses dynamic libraries like libc. And to resolve the addresses of the libc functions, it has to include the symbols for this dynamic library. So it will recognize if it tries to call something like main. GDB is not really a disassembler. GDB is a debugger. So it doesn't have uh, fancy display features like this. There are some extensions that might uh, help you with that, but generally you would want a disassembler to kind of like analyze more statically a binary like this. So here we can see a libc start main, and Ghidra also has a decompiler. And you can see that this function takes a couple of parameters. And actually the first parameter of this libc start main function is the address where the actual main is, where your main is. So what Ghidra identified as this function here is main. So we can go there and we can see that's like my shell code test code. This, this is the main function that I have written. It's, uh, don't, don't worry about what this code here says, but I can assure you that this is the main function. This means that the address loaded into RDI is in fact the address of main. So we know this is the entry point. So at the code of the entry point, you can also see that here's this call. And because you can assume this is a typical binary, you might assume that in the entry code, you have uh, that the first call there goes to libc main. It's just an assumption that you can make. This assembler like Ghidra will actually tell you if that's the case, but that's a fair assumption you can make if you assume it's just a normal binary. Which means the first parameter here for this call is actually the real main. And here, GDB actually helped you because it's from RIP. So RIP would be, at this case, 50D, plus this offset here. Here's the result. So at this address should be the real main, your main. And yeah, so this definitely looks like a function start. So yeah, this, this is your main function. So this is how you can find main. Okay, so now that we have learned about the libc start main, we can actually use this also to our advantage with GDB. As long as it's a dynamic binary, so not a static binary, you can break on the libc function because for that you have symbols. And it says to you here that the libc start main is not defined, but you can make a pending breakpoint 
in case a shared library is loaded at some point that has the symbol. And now let's execute the binary. We hit a breakpoint in libc start main. This happened because when the binary was executed, the loader started to set up the whole binary and it saw that it needs dynamic libraries. So it was loading libc and there was a breakpoint, so it set a breakpoint. You get the point. And here you can actually see a few more of the symbols. You can see here the names of the parameters of this function. And the first parameter is called main and it shows you actually what the parameter value is. So at this address, generally this offset here at the end is where you can find main. Let's see if this is correct, 5FA. Uh, so yeah, we assume that at 5FA we can find main. So now we can also set a breakpoint there and we continue and we hit a breakpoint and now we are in main. So this is how we can find the main function in a strip binary and how we can also then debug this. Now you know how you can find the main function when you have a strip binary. Make sure to check out the full playlist of Hexmember and see you tomorrow.